in this demonstration we'll be using four different systems and we will be switching between those different systems to show the effects of um, the automated solution um, looking at various aspects of uh, the data center so first off the Biomni service catalog so essentially this is a business front end that offers self-service request capabilities to end users but it also delivers business process capabilities for example um, processes that uh, handle uh, financial or technical approval uh, or validation for requests so we'll be using this application to submit a request and uh, track its progress throughout its life cycle the other application we'll be using is um, the one that handles all the back-end automation the Opalis automation fabric now the Opalis automation fabric let's switch to the right console here is uh, an IT process automation platform that performs cross silo orchestration uh, within the data center. So the automation fabric will drive all the backend automation and uh, will perform all the tasks that are associated with delivering the service we're requesting. Um, so these are typically activities that are performed by your IT staff. The other application we'll be using and we'll be looking at is uh, virtual infrastructure. Now, keep in mind that um, although our solution can, in fact, provision both physical and virtual servers as well as storage, we'll be using VMware virtual infrastructure um, for this demonstration. Another note, um, this solution is uh, vendor agnostic so it will in fact support any virtualization technology that you may already have besides VMware's okay so we're looking at the uh, vSphere or virtual center server uh, management console here then lastly uh, another system that you will probably already have uh, which is a, a service desk, a service desk that you may use for incident management or, or change management. And we'll use this particular system um, to demonstrate that the solution can automate an existing best practice for change management, including complete audit trail for compliance. So uh, today we'll be using uh, Remedy uh, ITSM. So, back to the Beyomni service catalog. So as I said, this is the business front end. So here, an end user can shop for a particular service. So you can see uh, employee services, software services, uh, security and access, as well as re being able to request uh, a new server. And that's what we'll focus on today. I'd like to request uh, from this category, server and storage, a new server. So as you can see, this is fully web-based. Let me just uh, provide my login credentials real quick. And I'm logged in as administrator. So this will give me full access to uh, service requests, as well as being able to approve it from the same uh, account. So again, I'd like to uh, provision a new server. So I'll click this option here. And then the end users present it with um, a form and we can uh, fill out this form using uh, pre-selected values that will make uh, that will leave no room for mistakes and then submit this request for uh, further approval so first off uh, some server information the machine type so as I said earlier this solution uh, enables you to deliver both physical and virtual infrastructure so because uh, delivering physical infrastructure uh, is a little bit difficult to show uh, in this demonstration and also it takes a little longer, we'll be using a virtual, uh, a virtual server and we select that as uh, the kind of server we need. Um, some options, uh, how many CPUs do I want on my ser uh, virtual server? Let's choose two CPUs, uh, memory, I guess in gigabyte, so let's choose uh, two. How many disks? Uh, just one. And then the size. So another thing we'll be, 
we'll be provisioning from here is um, storage. So the backend automation is capable to consume this uh, service request and then drive the different tools you have in your data center. As I said, your virtual infrastructure, but also your SAN management infrastructure. Uh, number of network interfaces, let's just do one. And then for machine name, since I'm the owner of the machine, I can choose one. Let's do webinar demo 001. And then the operating system. So I have a selection of uh, templates. Let's do a Linux box. And then, of course, the lease period. So with this lifecycle management capability, um, you can create uh, systems that uh, have an expiry date set. And this way, uh, the backend automation can also uh, remove uh, the virtual machine uh, when it's no longer needed. So that's an effective way to against uh, what is known as virtual sprawl in the uh, industry. So let's do uh, 30 days from now. Do I need some additional applications? An important feature, uh, why? Um, other solutions focus on the provisioning itself and the act of provisioning a virtual machine uh, is one thing but handling post provisioning steps such as deploying applications or um, deploying management agents to make the new machine part of the management infrastructure um, are additional capabilities that this solution offers. Um, I will now submit this request for approval submit. So as I said I'm logged in as administrator so typically it will be different people uh, people who are responsible for budget or for uh, some additional technical approval will pick up the change request will be notified and will pick up the change request um, but for now since this is just a demonstration I'll switch to the approval tab and we'll look at the new request and continue with the approval process. So as it is written here, you are required to add more information to the request prior to approval. Click Edit. I'll do that. So now I have the role of technical approver and I can do some additional um, selections uh, dependent on my role. For example, the, uh, the template. So that is the actual uh, template as it's called uh, on the uh, virtual infrastructure, the data store, or the location where the physical files are being kept, uh, some network information such as an IP address, so I'll just uh, enter some information here, and lastly uh, a gateway, um, there we go. So move to the next stage, and I should be able to approve the request. All right. So those steps uh, demonstrate both the uh, self-service capability as to what an end user sees, as well as the uh, business process for approval uh, further downstream. And now that the um, request has been approved, you can see its status being set to preparing to send. Now. Um, let's switch to the backend automation, the Opalus automation fabric. Now let me explain what it will be doing. So this is the operator console um, and this tracks all the activities that the uh, automation fabric uh, is executing and <clears throat> there's a lot of uh, different uh, processes and sub uh, processes and we're currently subscribing to the uh, Biomni service catalog and waiting for new uh, requests. Now you may see that uh, this uh, process is being uh, launched at the moment. Um, so we picked up the request and we're currently processing it. Now what will happen is we'll consume the inbound request, extract all the relevant information and then we start executing and orchestrating and synchronizing with um, our change management system. 
So uh, we're now doing CMDB association. Uh, we already created the change request. So why don't we switch to um, the remedy console and see uh, what's going on. So this is remedy. And here I have a change request. So the Apollos Automation Fabric raised this change request in response to the service request from the Biomni uh, service catalog. Let's open it up and let's have a look at some of the attributes.